Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and in this video, going to be bringing out a different attack strategy, and today we are going to be using the Go Vape. So Go Vape is pretty straightforward. We're going to be using Golems, we're going to be using Valkyries, and finally we'll be bringing in some Pekkas. So just like Go Wee Wee and Go Wipe, you're going to want to bring Wall Breakers, because I don't think I want to use Jump Spells in this composition, and finally, since I had some extra spaces, I decided I would bring out three Wizards. As far as our spells go, we're going to use the same exact things that we use in our Go Wee Wee or Go Wipe. We're going to be bringing one Lightning Spell to deal with the Clan Castle troops. We'll also bring in two Rage Spells just to speed our troops up once they get close to the Town Hall and also to help out the Wall Breakers. And finally, we'll use two Free Spells to deal with the multi-targeted Inferno Towers. So let's go ahead and attack this first base right here. This base is a Southern Teaser, and this base is actually a pretty good one to attack with this composition because there's not a lot of space, um, or there, there aren't a lot of wall compartments for your troops to get messed up in. So you're going to see what I'm going to do in the beginning, and you can use this with any co army composition. I'm going to use these wall breakers on this base just to lure out the giant bombs or the regular bombs, as well as the clan castle troops, because I only have one layer of wall to break through before I can get to this guy's town hall. So normally I wouldn't use that many wall breakers to lure out someone's troops or to find giant bombs, but since there's only that single layer and I still have six wall breakers left, I'll definitely have no problem getting into the center of his base, and that's why I did that. Okay, something really cool about the Valkyries, one of their biggest perks ever since they came out, is that they do a great job against Clan Castle troops, so I dropped two of those guys right there. And then I'm going to start following up with the rest of my troops and make my way inside of his base. So Pekkas have been dropped, also have my Golems down, looks like they're on opposite sides, which is great. I'm going to start spamming my Valkyries as well as my first Rage spell. And the Rage spell is dropped just to help out my Wall Breakers a little bit, as well as it will help my troops at that initial Inferno Tower, which is obviously really important when you have Valkyries. Because Valkyries have a pretty good amount of health, but they will die quickly against those multi-targeted Inferno Towers if you just let them burn at them. So that's why I did that, and uh, things like they're, look like they're going pretty well right now. So something great that happened in this raid, the king actually dragged my P.E.K.K.A.s right into the town hall. So after the P.E.K.K.A.s took a couple swipes at the king, we got a free town hall. And then from there, we just worked on the 50%. And yeah, things actually went really well. We destroyed most of the parts of the uh, middle of the base. And there's only a couple buildings left in the top. And since I don't have enough troops left, I'm probably not going to be able to get it. I let my troops run around just a little bit longer to see if they could do it. But unfortunately, they wouldn't. And yeah. That looks like it's going to do it for this raid, and from here, I can probably just surrender. Alright, so good raid number one with the Go Vape. I'm going to go ahead and check out what we got. We got 63% for two stars, which is not bad at all. I also did this raid in a clan war, so I got 470,000 gold, 470,000 elixir, and 2,200 dark elixir for my war bonus. So definitely some awesome resources that help pay for the raid. And let's go ahead and go on to the next one. So same exact thing here, this guy has it set up with a southern teaser, and if you look throughout his base, what I'm doing is I'm scouting out for giant bombs, and deciding where to, whether to attack from the top or the bottom, I feel like it's going to be really easy to find the giant bombs inside of this guy's base. So same exact, same exact thing, going to drop my golems, my witches, my wizards, my P.E.K.K.A. Just going to go ahead and spam all these guys at once, as well as follow up with the same exact strategy of my wall breakers and a rage spell. So now that we've gotten close to breaking through, looks like we didn't break through on the first try, we're going to be able to go through the center of their base, and let's see our Valkyries go to work. So again, on a base like this, a lot of the defenses are grouped up together, and what's really great about that is that the Valkyries actually move their way into the center of the defenses with the new update, and they swing at probably like four buildings at once with this type of base setup. So that turned out to be great, they actually did a good job of sort of wave clearing all the trash in the very outside of his base. And then after that was done, my P.E.K.K.A.s are the main damage dealers, and those guys went straight for the Town Hall, and once again got us that second star. So pretty good job right now, they're just going to take a little bit of time to run around the base. I'm actually going to drop a little bit of a spoiler, unfortunately we got really close to getting the 3 star, but my Queen got shot down at the end, especially there was a giant bomb that you're going to see blow up most of my troops. So we ended up getting the 2 star, but definitely a Valiant raid, and we almost got the 3. So that's going to wrap it up for the Go Vape strategy. It's a pretty fun one to use. I think it's really good against bases like this that are Southern Teasers. Against other bases that have most of their stuff symmetrical in their base and that have a lot of wall compartments, it's probably not going to be as successful unless you can drop some great wall breakers inside of their base. So I'd probably just stick to attacking this sort of base design, but when you do attack this sort of base design, you're going to have a lot of success as you can see through these raids. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like and make sure to drop a suggestion for next week's attack strategy and that'll be coming out pretty soon. Alright guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.